All right, so in this problem, we have an expression, and we have to choose which of the following statements is true regarding this expression. Now, let's take a good look, and we'll, I'll even rewrite it over here, just so it's easier to see, that we have a radical on the right-hand side. Now, if we take a look at our limitations for each of the variables, c has a limitation that, has to, that c has to be greater than or equal to 2. If it is less than 2, then we'll have a negative inside of the radical, and that is just impossible. So any number that is greater than or equal to 2 will give us an answer for b. Now, b will always have two options. It can always be a negative or a positive because each square root has a negative or positive answer. Therefore, um, we know our two limitations for b and c. Now we can move on to our statements. A states, if c is greater than 2, b can only be positive. Well, that is incorrect because we just proved right over here that if c is greater than 2, then b can either have a negative answer or a positive value. So therefore, A is incorrect. Let's move on to B. If C is less than 2, there are no solutions for B. That statement is correct because we also proved that over here. And if C is less than 2, we'll have a negative number inside of the radical, and that is impossible to get an answer. So there will be no, an there will be no solution for B. Now let's see why C and D are incorrect. If b is negative, there are no solutions for c. Well, that is also incorrect because if b is negative, that means that there has to be a solution for c. If b is, let's say, negative 2, and we have inside the radical c minus 2, this c will have to equal 6. And if we write this out, we'll have a square root of 4. And square root of 4 will always give us two answers, negative 2 or positive 2. That means that if we have an answer here for B, that means there also has to be a solution for C. Uh, so, nope, C is incorrect. All right, now answer D. If C is less than 2, B can only be negative. Well, if C is less than 2, then we will have no solution because we'll have a negative answer inside of the radical, which means that it is impossible. Therefore, D is also incorrect. And our final answer will be B.